Welcome back all. So today we're going to continue building on what we have already created. But before we get into the code, let me go ahead and explain what we are about to do. So I hope that you have the server running with npm start. And here is the server. Let me just refresh it, refresh the site. Okay, so imagine for a moment that in some parallel universe, you have a limited amount of accounts that you can make on a certain server. So that's just one of the stupid errors that can happen. And in our case, you can only create three accounts on the server because we are so generous. And if I type in, I don't know, blah, 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 create and smash my keyboard in the most random of fashions. You know, every time I smash my keyboard, I keep thinking that it's random, but these things keep on looking the same. And it says, okay, creating error, only three accounts allowed. Uh, okay, but that's something that we've implemented. Of, I mean, basically the server tells you, okay, you can only create three accounts, but this is probably not the best way to handle this. Why? Because you see, I type something in, I type something in again, and I click on create, and that gives me an error, and it all basically disappears. Now, this can be a different type of an error. You can have a field that is populated by something that it is not supposed to contain, and you can say improper values in the fields or something like that. But when that error happens, you don't want the fields to be reset completely because uh, you don't want the user to have to input everything over and over again until he gets the proper uh, inputs. Rather, instead, you just want to throw the error message and leave whatever the user has written in this field, marking the fields in one way or another, possibly, uh, which contain faulty information. So that's one of the that's one of possible error handlings because you need these error handlers. You will need a good amount of them, which will have some sort of procedures for the for the possible scenarios which might happen. So we're just gonna add to the account form to the we're just gonna add more code to the files which we have created previously and implement this logic. So that's all I really wanted to say here. And now we're gonna go ahead and jump into the code.